Welcome and welcome back to another edition of Pose and PE. As you know, it is track and field week. Our work on the track is done and we are moving over to the field. And today we are doing the oldest field event. The oldest field event. My other clue to you is from yesterday's uh, episode. And that is it uses your core much more than it uses your arms. All right. By now you should know uh, what events we're going to be doing. Uh, simple today, all you need, we're using yoga mats, all right, you could really use anything, just something soft to land on, all right, if you have a carpet in your house, you might be fine, uh, if you have a mattress or a big couch pillow or something like that, that's great too, all right, something soft to land on, and of course, our full water bottles, all right, so go uh, grab those things, and we'll see you soon for our track and field events in Jumping. jumping. Mount, welcome back. Are you ready to jump? Before we do, let's warm up our legs, our core, our arms so we can jump the best we can. Follow me because here we go. Starting with a march. So lucky, so happy to be back in your homes once again, Hill Mount. So happy to have Jacob back with us once again. Let's get ready to jump and let's start it off with some jumping. Just two feet on the ground, arms are staying down. Good, can you stay on our beat? This time when you go up, can you have your hands go up? <laughs> it's tricky, isn't it? All right, let's slow that jump down. Keep jumping. There we go. All right, back to a run over here. Let's go to a run. Excellent job. We'll do a lot of jumping later on. We don't have to do too much in our warm-up today. Great job, everybody. Let's move to jumping jacks in four. Three, two, jack. Great job, everybody. All right, in between each jack, can we put our hands up in front of us? It goes like this. Good, keep it going, Hillman. Warm up your bodies. I want you to be able to jump. Super far today. Four more. Three, two, one. Back to a run. All right. We're going to be moving to a step touch. Out to your left. Let's slow it down to a march. Heart rate's coming down a little bit. We are step touching. You got it. With some laterals. Excellent job. Can we take this step touch back to regular? Can we get right into a grapevine on this one? Good for you if you did it. Good. With an arm pump on these grapevines. With a jump and an arm pump. Woo! Great job, everybody. Four more. Last one. All right, back to center. We're just marching. Good. Now, when we march, we're going to take it up to a run. Get those arms into it. Can we kick our bottom behind us? Can we keep our knees up super high? Let me see how you're doing. Looking really good. Keep that running going. Can we take it to some quick feet? 
Nice job, everybody. Grab a drink, and we'll see you soon for our jump in aerobics. Welcome back, Hill Mound. Are you ready to jump? It looks like Ella and Jacob are, so let's go join them. Get your mat, follow me. We just have our mats out, and we're just jumping with our hands in the air like we did before. Good, can we take this jump to just your right leg? Just your right leg. Jumping hill mount. Try to stay on the same spot. Good for you if you are. Can we take it to just your left leg? Just your left. Excellent job. So nice to have the cushioning of our mat. Let's take it to both legs once again. Great job. All right, let's slow it down to a march. This time when we jump, we're gonna jump forward. So we're jumping forward, back, back, back. Jump, back, back, back. Keep it going, hell man. Great job, everybody. Four more. And back, back, back. Can we do the same thing from our right leg? Jumping forward, then two feet down. Back, back, back. Excellent job. Remember your soft landing till now. We're not in a sand pit right now. We're not jumping into snow right now. So nice soft landings. We don't want you to get hurt. All right, let's go to our left leg. Remember, it's three steps back, and then try it again. Let's jump. One, two, three. Jump. One, two, three. Excellent job. All right, let's take it back to our jump in the middle of our mat. Can we jump to the left? Can we jump to the back? Can we jump to the right? Can we jump to the front? It's kind of like our trampoline, isn't it? Yeah. Can we jump with a half turn to the left? Nice. Can we jump back to the front? Beauty. Can we do it the other way? Half turn to the right. Nice. And again. Yes, and anybody want to try? I'm going to go back to steady. Can we try a full jump? Really get your arms going. We're going to go to the left. Whoa, I almost did it good for you if you did. Let's try one to the right. So really bend your knees. Get your arms ready, because here we go. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's jump it up. One leg, other leg, both legs. Good, so it goes right, left, both. Right, left, both. Right, left, both. Keep it going, hell now. You're looking great. I hope you're really feeling it. I hope you're starting to sweat a little bit. I know I am, let me see who's sweating. Oh, you are sweating. Good work, grab a drink for that sweat and we'll see you soon. Welcome back. We are ready to learn our jumping skills for track and field. You can see we have our mat set up to jump on. If you have a mattress or large pillow from your couch, whatever it is, that's great too. Obviously check with your parents first and make sure it's nice and safe. Jacob and Ella are doing some standing long jumping. Let's go join them. All right, so for the standing long jump, we're just at one end of our yoga mat. We're not touching the mat with our feet. It's like the edge of the mat is our line, all right? And what we're trying to do, we're trying to jump as far as we can. There are three main jumps in track and field into a sand pit, all right? There's also two additional ones called a high jump and pole vault. We're not doing those today, all right? I don't know how to do that safely in our house. If you have an idea, you can definitely send us your videos or photos, all right? 
We are doing the standing long jump, the running long jump, and the triple jump today. Standing long jump is not an Olympic event. It's also called the broad jump, but we have it for our track and field meet, so we're going to practice it. Knees are bent. Arms are going back. You're going to be going forward, extending, and you're going to be landing on your toes and fall forward. Okay? Hill mount, just a reminder, this isn't the Olympics. This isn't even our track and field meet. All right? You're inside, so please don't hurt yourself or anybody else. All right. Here we go. Down. Up for a practice. Down and jump up, land forward. Excellent. Just walk back. Let's try three more of those. I forgot this is a practice one, but Jacob remembered, keep it going. Alright, I hope you're jumping nice and far. Let's learn the running long jump. For it, we are folding up our mats to the halfway point. We're going to start with a walk. I like to take off from my left leg. Alright, so I walk, 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 take off of one leg, and land on two forward. Alright, nice easy test to find out what leg. Try to lean forward. And whatever leg goes forward to help you steady yourself, that should be your takeoff leg. Remember your arms into it as you take off, Hillman. All right, so we're walk, walk, walking. I get to the edge. I'm jumping, landing safely on my mat. Don't land on the floor. There's a reason we have those mats, obviously. And try it again. Walk, walk, walk. It's really a walking long jump, isn't it? But that's okay. We're in our houses. One more. Walk, walk, walk. Jump and land. All right. Triple jump. Triple jump. We're folding up our mat again. The first thing in the triple jump is a hop. A hop is one foot to the same foot. One foot to the same foot. The next thing is a skip or a step. And a skip or a step is that foot that you hopped on to the other foot. Let's try a hop and a skip. Hop, skip. Excellent. The last thing's a jump. A jump is that foot that you skipped on to, to two feet. Let's try it all together. Just standing still. Hop, step, jump. Good for you if you're in the same place where we started. Let's try that one more time. Hop, step, Jump. Let's try combining it all. Him out. Remember to land on your mat. So it's walk, 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 hop, step, jump into the mat, onto the mat. All right, you'll have to start your hop from farther back. Walk, 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 hop, step, jump. Excellent. Give it a couple more tries. Walk, 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 hop, step, jump. I hope you're landing nicely for it. Keep trying it. I want to see how you're doing. Jacob and Ella are going to keep trying their triple jump as well. All right, looking good. We'll see you soon for our jumping games. Welcome back, Hillmount. How's the jumping going? We hope it's going great. I hope you're ready for our jumping track and field games because here we go. Come join me at our sand pit. I hope you have your own at home. All right, we're at our yoga mat. The first event in our jumping track and field competition is the standing long jump. Standing long jump. Remember to get your feet as close as you can to that pit without touching it. Bend your knees, take a practice, come up, and then fast down, explode, and land like a frog. All right, let's try that a few more times. Down, and explode. Now I want you to stand up, but stay where you are, and put your hand or something at your farthest back point. Farthest back. Mine is over here where my hand is. All right, and I'm gonna try to remember 
Where this farthest back going? We're gonna do better than remember too. Can you pass us our water bottles, please? And look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my water bottle right beside my mat. Don't put it on your mat. We don't want you to hit it. All right, and now your goal, my goal is not to beat Jacob Arella. My goal is to beat myself if I can get it farther over here. Remember to land forward, Hill Mount, because it's always the farthest back point where we measure. All right, three more tries. And remember, if you beat it, Move your water bottle up. If you get worse, don't worry about putting it back, okay? Let's see what your record can be. Remember to always land on your mat, though. All right, one last track. I think this is the big one, but land on your mat, please. Beautiful. Did you beat your record? We hope you did. All right, we're moving to our next event. It is called the walking long jump. We are moving our mats. Remember, we're folding them in half. Make sure you're landing on your mats for this hill mount. You don't have a completed jump yet, so you can just put your water bottle at the end of your mat. Okay, but not on it, of course, not on it. And remember your takeoff leg. All right, so I'm starting with my left, then my right, then my left, then jumping and landing on the mat. Find your farthest back point and put your water bottle beside your mat. Let's see if you can beat that, but you have to land on your mat, no mount. Walk, 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 jump. All right, move that bottle. If you were further ahead, then last time, the jumping events are all about jumping far, except for the pole vault and high jumps. You'll have to look those up if you want to know more. Walk, 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 arms, and jump. All right, I hope you beat your record. Try it one more time, one more time. Make it your best walking long jump. Here we go. Beautiful. Did you beat your record? I hope you did. Let's try the walking triple jump, because here we go. Matt goes at the top. Matt up, uh, bottom goes at the top, excuse me. Matt's folded in half. You have to land on your mat, hill mount. All right, here we go. Walk, 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 up, step, jump, and land on your mat. Put that bottle at your farthest back point. Let's see if we can beat that mark. Walk, 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 up, step, jump. Beautiful. If you beat it, put it ahead. I hope you remember your hop, steps, and jump. Let's do one last try. Make it the best one. Walk, 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 up, step, and jump. Did you beat it? We hope you did. Grab a drink, and we'll see you soon for the cool down. Jumpers, and welcome back. I hope you had a great jumping workout today. We do need to cool down, so we're leaving our yoga mats out, and you can follow me. Starting with the usual, an inhale as we march, and an exhale. In and out. Let's do a little bit of yoga poses while we're here. I know you enjoyed those. So we're just lunging forward, and I hope you remember our warrior one. Good, can we take that down? But don't take your knee all the way to the ground. And back up, down, and up. Can you turn to a warrior two? Beautiful, can you spread it out a little bit? Put it on the outside of your leg and reach up try to look at your left hand that is up in the air remember to breathe hill now keep inhaling and exhale all right back to our warrior turn that back foot so it's facing forward and hands go on the ground good you should feel a nice stretch in that front leg 
Can you move your leg back so you're in a high plank? And come on down. Do you remember? We called this cobra, didn't we? Do you remember the cobra? Good. And do you remember downward dog? Wag your left tail. You're a special dog with two tails. And wag your right tail. Beautiful. And put that down. Let's bring, what leg do we need to bring to the front, Ella? So we are bringing the other leg the last time to the front. For us, it's the right. For you, it's hopefully the left. Thank you, Ella. Back to warrior one. And warrior two, remember to shift your back leg. Reach it forward and back. Forward and back. Our arm can also go on our knee if you prefer, if that's easier for you. Or it can come right on down to the outside of your leg, it's up to you. Reach up. Look at that hand that's up in the air. Beautiful. Back to warrior two. Can we reverse this? Take it to a triangle. So I'm straightening both of my legs. Looking up at that hand. Very nice. Back to warrior two. And bring it to the front of your mat. And let's sit back down on our mat. Spread out those legs in front of you. Let's do a nice stretch for our legs and for our core. Shake that out. Let's stretch our ankles. I love stretching my ankles, especially after jumping, because our ankles take a good beating when we land from those jumps. Make sure to do one way, the other way, one way, and the other way. And shake it all out. Welcome back, Hillmount. I know we look a little bit different right now. Hopefully we don't look too scary to you. All right, you might see when you're going outside or if you've been on a walk in your neighborhood or even if you've been in a store, maybe you have, you might see people who are wearing a mask such as ours, all right? And you might be wondering about it, all right? If you wanna know how to make our mask, that's on a previous video. We believe it's the badminton episode, so feel free to look back at that one. But we're not talking about that today. Today we're talking about these masks and things called PPEs, all right? That stands for Personal Protective Equipment, all right? And you might be wondering, why people are wearing the masks, or why people are using gloves, or why people sometimes have shields or are wearing gowns or things like that, all right? So if you're interested in it, I have a great video for you to watch. It's only a couple minutes long, and it's another Sick Kids one that's all about PPEs and how it keeps people safe, all right? So I will post that link on the Google Classrooms. Feel free to watch. And of course, as always, feel free to tell me what you learned from watching that video, all right? We also would love to see your jumping uh, videos, photos, etc. all right? So feel free, please show us those as well, all right? Uh, that's all for our jumping today. We really hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you tomorrow. It's the last day of the week which means it's our last type of track and field events. There's only one type of events that we haven't done yet. They do take place on a field, and they do use your arms a lot. All right, so think about what those are, and we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.